Alright guys, um, welcome back to Comic Universe, the only nerd-centric game you need in your life. DPZ rolling solo once again, and today I'm going to be giving you a new and a little different non-comic lineup. Now for the new subscribers on here, what non-comic lineup is, is basically a lineup for a comic book team, but instead of using comic book characters like Marvel or DC or anything like that, what this is, is a lineup, what if it was, this comic book team was forged by characters outside of the comic book genre. So you've got book characters, novel, ca you know, uh, anime characters, cartoon characters, stuff like that are going to be part of this. And today, this one's going to be a little different in that this one isn't so much a team, but more like, what would it be like if these characters were put in this group? And that is, of course, Weapon X. Of course, Weapon X being a major part of the X-Men franchise. The people who put Wolver the adamantium into Wolverine's body, as well as created Deadpool. Um, they also had a hand in, you know, Sabretooth and several other X characters. And, met, and, you know, of course, obviously, major part of Wolverine's life. So what would it be like if they got their hands on these characters, and what kind of mad experiments could they do to augment these, uh, these characters? And, yeah... So let's uh, let's talk about a few. Starting off, starting off with, um, hang on, I got the list right here. Yeah, aren't, aren't I a professional? Um, but yes, the list. Starting off with, uh, sorry, I had to get the list out here. Um, so starting off, we have John Wick. Now, John Wick, of course, one of the deadliest assassins ever known. Uh, a man who has killed people with just a pencil. Could you imagine what Wick could do with um, after uh, Weapon X gets a hold of him, what they could augment with him, like sharpen his senses, enhance his durability, his strength, maybe inject him with um, the essence of Wolverine like they did with Deadpool and make him nearly unkillable? The, it's, it would be insane not for Weapon X to go after Wick and try to control him. Next up we have Lucy from Elfin Lead. Now, Lucy is kind of a mutant already. She is known as a, a, a Diclonus, which are a race of evolved creature with these um, weapons called vectors, which are these invisible hand-like objects that allow her to cut through even solid steel. She is... She would definitely be an interesting subject for Weapon X to use, and I can only imagine if they give uh, make her vectors and enhance them with adamantium or some other deadly serum of some kind. She would just be a da she's already dangerous and mentally unstable. In other words, perfect candidate for the Weapon X program. Next we have Hitomi from the anime Killing Bites. Now, Hitomi is this character called a Theranthrope. A I'm, I'm mispr mispronouncing it. But what it is, is basically she is a human spliced with DNA with another animal that she can turn into. And the creature she turns into is a honey badger. Which, honey badger don't care. Honey badger don't give a fuck. And, yeah... Her, she is one of the most dangerous uh, of these new race of creatures. And could you imagine, if you've seen the anime of Killing Bites, what kind of damage she could do if they gave put adamantium into her body? That would be horrifying. She already is very much Wolverine-like in that she has superhuman senses, durability, she has a healing factor, not as fast as Logan's, mind you, but definitely one that could, you know... Uh, heal pretty well, you know, she can heal from, uh, dangerous wound, you know, serious wounds overnight. Um, she has superhuman strength, agility, senses, very much, like I said, like Wolverine, just with a badger. <laughs> anyway, so, next we have Baraka, from, Mor from, of course, Mortal Kombat. I can't even tell you what Weapon X could do if they got their hands on this Tarkatan. Of course, Adamantium Bone Blades... Oh, man. I, you know, they, you can already do a build of Barack and MK11 with um, Metal Blades, but trust me, could you imagine what he could do with Adamantium? Yeah, I don't think he would be working with Shao Kahn any longer if he could. So, next up we have Rip Van Winkle from uh, Van Helsing. Now, if you don't know who Rip Van Winkle is, Rip Van Winkle is a Nazi vampire who, she has a weapon, she has a musket which has a ma magic bullet that can devastate entire armies and move at the speed of light. In fact, it took out an entire naval force and eradicated an entire navy uh, boat crew in just one shot. So Weapon X would look at her and go, yeah, we want to use this. And it's not like they haven't done um, experiments on uh, supernatural cre creatures before. In fact, Weapon X has wanted to you know, mess with vampires and werewolves in their experiments. 
So, and Van Winkle is already kind of a genetic experiment because she is a mo vampire modified by Millennium, the uh, Nazi group that created her. So, first off, she's already a, you know, a Nazi vampire, but you augment her with, you know, and use that gun and give her m more weapons, because it isn't just, you know, adamantium they play with, it's also a lot of experimental weapons. So, if you give that to Winkle, oh, God, th this is going to be a hell of a body count. Um, following that is Jason Bourne from, of course, the Bourne films. Already kind of a super soldier in his own right. I could definitely see, much like with John Wick, that um, the that the uh, Weapon X organization would want to take him, erase his memories, and make him into a perfect killing machine, much like what they did with Maverick or Garrison Kane. Um, he would definitely be another one, because already what's inside of him would be a major... A weapon for them to use, and he would already be a devastating opponent for anyone, really. But yeah, so moving on to our next candidate is Coldstone. Now, Coldstone is a character from Gargoyles. He was one of the Gargoyles who were smashed during the genocide of of, Gargo of Goliath's excuse me of Goliath's clan back when Demona betrayed them to the Vikings, and he was one of the ones destroyed. However, his pieces were recovered by Demona, and through Xanatos' cybernetics and magic he used, he brought him back as a cyborg gargoyle. So, Coldstone would be another character that I think would make an interesting person for them to re mentally rearrange and reform for their own purposes. Very much like with the rest of the pack. I think the pack would also be, some of the members of the pack would also be integrated into Weapon X. And finally, we have another we have one more character, and that is, of course, the one you see here, Mewtwo. Mewtwo from, of course, Pokemon. Uh, of course, Mewtwo is at god level in Detective Pikachu, and grown from a vat, but could you imagine, instead of in the hands of Team Rocket, what if they had, if Weapon X got a hold of his psionic powers? I'm pretty freaking sure that they, you know, body switching and what, uh, and what have you would be not, you know, would be only just the tip of the iceberg for what they could do with, um, with Mewtwo. So it's a scary thought of what if Mewtwo was grown by Weapon X. So there you go, guys. So you guys tell us here at Comic Universe, what do you guys think of this lineup of characters, and what would it be like if these characters were taken in by Weapon X, and what characters do you, could you see Part, being part of uh, being inducted into the Weapon X program. Uh, just comment below, let you know, uh, let us know here at Comic Universe. And as always, if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's My Subscribers. Really interested to see what you guys have to say about this one because yeah, this is a big one. This is a this is a really interesting one. And there's some characters I left off that I could have easily talked about because I knew a lot of you guys would probably mention them as well. So, on behalf of everyone here. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.